trying to impose pension changes on us, which will leave the public safety at risk and they'll leave firefighters safety at risk. What the brigade and the government are trying to do is um, make us work much longer, paying in more money to get the same benefits we would have received for what we signed up for originally. The cut and back and cut and back and cut and back and they're also on the back of that expecting older firefighters to do the job of younger firefighters and it's just unrealistic and it's dangerous. We're having to work an extra 10 years and paying a lot more it doesn't look quite exactly the same as what the army police are getting in, so we're getting a harder deal. They keep saying on how good a deal we're getting, but we have to pay in a lot more than any other like public sector does. We pay one of the highest uh, percentages out of our wages into pension out of any public service. We pay close to 14%. They also want firefighters to work till they're 60 years old, which is unrealistic. I'm 31 years old, and I am exhausted after a house fire. You know, what they're expecting someone over 55 to continue to do that job is unrealistic, it's dangerous and it's putting the public at risk and it's putting us at risk. You don't want a six-year-old firefighter to turn up to a high-rise job, they just physically wouldn't be able to get upstairs. But that won't happen anyway because by the time you're 55 they'll get rid of you and sack you uh, and tell you you're not fit enough anyway. They're trying to bring in um, unrealistic health targets as we get older. Um, we, we, we all try to maintain the level of fitness and we do have um, periodic medicals as well. To hit the target you'd have to be an elite athlete at age 18 to be able to have the VO2 max of what they require for when we're 55. So no one in the brigade was an elite athlete like, of that standard when they're 18 years old. It's just like, it's impossible for us to get that standard. They're unable to pass and will face the sack on capability and leave themselves with no job and no pension. You know, so we're absolutely disgusted the way we're being treated. People are willing to go out there and put their lives on the line on a daily basis and we're having, you know, we're constantly getting attacked by this government. We're not asking for any money, we're not, not asking for no pay rises. All we want is to keep the um, keep the pensions that we sign up for. We don't want to be out here. We want to be back in them doors. We want the government to come back and negotiate. You know, we're not asking for the world, we just want fair negotiations. All that. We're here trying to show solidarity with the firefighters on the issue of their pensions, but also to protest against the closure of 10 London fire stations under proposals by Boris Johnson. At the moment, this station will be closing on the 9th of January. Um, this is due to budget cuts. Um, I mean, Boris Johnson vowed them to shut a station when he did on his manifesto. Um, well, I mean, obviously the case, he's shutting 10 and we're losing 550 firefighting posts. Um, across the capital and, and a lot more machines are going as well. Over 90% of respondents in the consultation were against it but Mayor Boris Johnson decided to press ahead anyway and ignore the public's voice and ignore the voice of the experts which is us, the people who do the job. Boris Johnson showed that by forcing through these um, cuts last week um, with threats of legal action against anyone who votes against them. I think it's scandalous that anybody, the Mayor of London or the Government, are trying to save money on such a life and death thing as a fire station. An old person can be in a situation where, for whatever reason, there could be a fire in their home that's really raging before they realise. People, for example, live on this state behind us, they're going to see an attendance time quadruple by the time the next station goes. It's going to get more dangerous for us because we'll be turning up to more developed fires. It's more dangerous for the people that are inside because they're going to be trapped for longer and potentially die, so there could be a big increase in fire deaths. These places were built to be fire stations. You know, we have facilities to train, which is very important. Um, but yeah, once they do close them, I mean, we know we're not going to get fire stations back in them areas. We're trying to mount a campaign to unify all of the separate campaigns at the 10 different stations. We'll be holding a meeting in about two weeks' time on the 15th of October at the Yulu building in Mallet Street. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5,